Shekinah 77. Today we will be discussing rivers of light. Isaiah 6, when he was transcended to the throne in a vision, he had rivers of light that he saw emanating from God, emanating from the throne that is in our hearts. The veils of our perception are listing, lifting, and they are listening, listening to the sound of our words, the sounds of life, the sounds of praise. It says, come into our inner sanctuary with thanksgiving and our inner courts with praise. We have been called to be a people of praise. We have been called to be a people of thanksgiving. And then it's from there that the river of life flows out of us. We literally become that light source, that light being. We become the promise, the awaited for promise, where we become angels of mercy. That our brains in the marriage, where it says the spirit of the bride come, our brains became, become the marriage. We become whole and complete. No longer is it Eve locked out of paradise garden or Adam. We become the tree, whole and complete. The lower and upper worlds. For as above, so below. Because we are the mere, mere reflection of the one whose face is like the sun. And from that, all glory, all majesty emanates. If we shift from darkness into light, it programs and bathes the ionosphere with golden liquid honey, the Shekinah, that Moses was led by that he came face to face, that he glowed, that Enoch was transcended when he came to the twelfth gate of Metatron, the high priest, the king, and the judge. Well, we have been judged, and we've been deemed worthy. We've been deemed beloved. We've been deemed the betrothed. We are now at the door, at the door of the wedding, and it's the most glorious that we could conceive or perceive has been long awaited for us. So I beckon, I call, I encourage, I urge. May we be a people of praise so the earth may be bathed in the river of life, the Shekinah, the glory. Then all of you will have the safety and security of the realization that heaven is with inside. For it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. May our hearts be pure so we may have eyes of a child, eyes that see and perceive. what we're called to and what we're born for to live in heavenly places and enthroned in love Shekinah 77